I hear that there are many instruments working here, and I'm glad because this uh, talk or this performance is, is called The Voice and the Road to a Perfect Song. Um, I will be sharing some of my songs, and I will also um, take a few minutes in, in, t in telling you about uh, in interesting things, some interesting things about the, about the human voice. So, um, let's begin. Uh, this is uh, one of my songs, and it is called Corazón, Heart. Tanto me hacía mal y me dolió el corazón por tanto tiempo. Pues no encontré una solución, alguien que pudiera mandar mi corazón. because it can um, send one message through two different languages, the words and the music. And this could explain many times why uh, we have misunderstandings sometimes, uh, because instead of saying, for example, yes, I will help you, we say, yeah, I will help you. <laughs> and by changing the, the physical properties of the sound, the the intensity, the pitch, the timbre, and the, the rhythm, we can, um, we can change the meaning of the message that we're sending. Maya Angelou, uh, an African-American poet, said, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And this feel is connected with music and it could determine 
the assertiveness we have in our communication with others. This is the first, first point. The second point is that our entire body is our instrument. It's not only the vocal cords, but rather it's the coordination of several individual component, mechanical components inside of our bodies. One of these components if, is the resonance. The resonance determines uh, our timbre, our tone quality, our unique sound. Um, this uh, and yes, I'm specifically. I'm sorry, specifically, specifically talking about the pneumatic bones on our skull. This hollow, uh, permeable bones allow the resonance to take place. Uh, this, the shape of these bones uh, will determine our unique sound, our timbre. So this means that if I see some, someone, I see another person, and that person has a different face than mine, that person will have a different sound. And I think we all here value our timbre. We value our unique sound. We value the potential contribution we can make in this wor world. And I know that we um, that we have listened many times about uh, respect, like respect and tolerance and acceptance, and that is remarkable. But I think that uh, we could be missing a big opportunity if we're not uh, encouraging the people around us to discover their sound. There, there, there's many people that don't get to show their potential to the world, their unique timber. And it is our loss. We could be uh, learning so much from them and improving our own sound by listening to them. The third point is um, that it doesn't matter how sweet or beautiful your timber is, it will, uh, the, the final sound that you will have, it will be totally de de determined by the musician. Um, and for pianists and guitarists, uh, they can easily distinguish um, if their instrument is out of tune, for example, or if it needs a new string, or um, if it needs cleaning. But for us, it's different. For the human voice, it's much different because our instrument feels. And that could explain also why it is hard for us to be disciplined, and it's hard for us to study, uh, and hard for us to be honest with ourselves when maybe we need to name. We are used to, we tend to blame others and for, for our, for our um, for our actions, and when we could take, when we should take responsibility for them. And I'm not saying that 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 is all that we should care about. About um, if our instrument is out of tune, that is not what we're here. That is not what the musician is about. Just to take care of the needs of the instrument. This is the fourth point. Um, by definition. The musical instrument uh, is constructor, constructed or used uh, for the purposes of making the sounds of music. If you notice, the definition of the musical instrument is totally defined by its purpose to make the sounds of music. Antoine de saint exupery the author of The Little Prince, he said, Life only has meaning if one barters it or changes it day by day for something other than itself. So let's, let's focus on music. Let's focus in the values that hold us together. Let's focus on music. Let's focus on the actions that will make our life transcend. Let's focus on music. If the instrument is not that important. The, not even the musician is if we cannot make good music. And great musicians know that. It, only great musicians can make you forget about your context and just make you sit, listen, and understand music. So maybe we uh, may be 
responsible musicians of our, of our lives. Um, using the properties of the sound that we emit to accompany the messages that we want to send in order to uh, improve the communi our communication with others. Uh, respecting and valuing our timbre as well as other, uh, as well as the timbre of the others. And more than that, encouraging them so they can discover theirs. And most importantly, focusing on music so that every single effort that we do can make and can create good and great songs. And if, if we do this, if we focus on music day by day, we uh, might not only enjoy the road, but we can may eventually create a truly perfect song. Um, so, I will sing this last song, and I was, this is based on some of the experiences I've had in the Melton Foundation. So, I hope that uh, you enjoy it. We woke up early that day to paint that house with dreams. Clean the scars off the wind and let it sing its suffering. We came across and told us, Thank you for your time. Thank you so much for what you've done. You are also very nice. Ooh, I just couldn't help but ask. Who will our help really last? Ooh, did we use what's on our hands? To do the best that we can. Oh, I don't know what to say when I see all that pain flowing through your veins and your eyes screaming, Help. I screaming, help, help. Next day, different stories, same hit, much more stress. So many people wait for someone who could heal their distress. A million miles on the streets that don't know where to go, competing for their goals while they ignore what's on their souls. Ooh, I just can't help but ask. Ooh, it's our help relevant. Ooh, we use what's on our hands to do the best that we can. But I feel my like it's feeling bad.
all the staff. Again, thank you so much for your time.